Hi guys, welcome back to another Windows tutorial. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to boost up your startup on your PC and amongst other things. There's a program called Startup Booster. You can go to the link right here and go ahead and do a free download. It has an overview on it, but I'm going to go ahead and give you an in-depth overview in regards to what it does. It does have the option to go ahead and accelerate and start up your computer a lot faster than you would imagine, especially if you've had your computer for a long time. A lot of those services and startup items have been generated and they do slow up your computer. So we're just going to go ahead and make your computer a lot leaner. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Go jump right into the computer right here and this will give you a splash screen and then it'll start to scan your computer with regards to the startup program, services, system settings, and network settings that can all be optimized. If you drop right here with this arrow, you can see a lot more options in regards to what can be disabled and what can be boosted. The name, the startup impact, and also the disable rate. I would go based by the disable rate because anything above 50% would be ideal unless you feel like you want to go ahead and get rid of it and you know exactly what that service or startup item is. On over to the startup itself, I have a bunch of things that are enabled. I can disable this right here by pressing it. A uh, quick time task, I can also disable it because those are the things I don't use every day. And also just a bunch of other stuff that I will leave enabled. Another one for driver max can be disabled and like I said, uh, there's just a bunch more. Onward to the service, there's a bit of a trick. You have to know exactly what you're doing over here too. Otherwise, it can hurt your computer. There's a lot of services that I would disable. For example, all down here, these are some of them that I would disable, but that's in another topic. Going over here, any changes that you did boost, you can restore it because it does make a restore point. And if you chose to go ahead and make a restore point because something is not working right and you want that service or you want that program to work again, it would be best that you go ahead and restore it. There's not much else that you can do other than you can full screen this right here as well and get a lot more in-depth look at it without having to scroll in a little window. Going over here to startup and also home, like I had mentioned, they're just pretty much based off of a disable rating that you would rather go ahead and run yourself by. Let's go ahead and drop this right here. Going over here to network systems that can be optimized. All these items that you see right here are all the ones that it recommends for you to go ahead and disable. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and check everything right here. Let's say for example, Bonjour, Windows Update, for example. Let's go ahead and drop over here down to the system settings that can be optimized. I can go ahead and disable all these, but I have a computer that does its job of keeping up with all the graphics that you guys can see. Going over here to network settings, it's something similar, but it has to do with networks. If you want, you can go ahead and check all these, but make sure you read them all before you do any changes. And also, it'd be best that you guys go ahead and do changes one out of a time. That way, everything isn't so together and you'd have to restore it and start over. So it'd be best that you guys go ahead and boost up each one little out of a time. Other than that, you can be in a lot of trouble. This program, like I said, it's a good program. It better serves if you're in Windows 8, going over here to Task Manager and going over to the Startup where it gives you a lot of information, but not as much as Startup Booster. So if you guys want, go ahead and download that program. It's free. Also, there's a bunch of other products that that company does have. So that's it for our video, guys. So if you guys want to download it, I'll leave it in the About tab where the download link will be available for you guys. And also, if you can't find it, I'll leave it in the comments. So until next time guys, see you later, bye.